Hello again, friends. We are going to do some improvement on the camper. I've got a problem, like most of us do, where you open the door, depending on how level it is, it could just swing on back and blam. Not very cool. In my case, it hits the tail light. Now, it hasn't done any damage yet. I've been trying to keep it from slamming, but I do need to get a keeper. And there's only a couple of choices. There's the one that's kind of like a little hinged T thing, which this used to have on the bottom of it. And one piece was broken already, so that's a good sign that that's not a good kind to use. And then there's the other kind, like this one on my 77 Travco, that uses a little pokey thing there to catch your shoulder as you're walking by and the little rubber thing that it pokes into and it it tends to cushion the door as it opens but not very much and it will hold very reliably and you can replace the rubber parts and you can replace all of them they still make them straight bent but they're terrible so let's go back to the new camper and i'll show you what i came up with this just came in from amazon i thought it was a pretty nice little piece it comes with the mounting hardware. I'm just gonna take the unit itself out of here and see if I can work it with one hand. All right, this little jewel is magnetic. Three screws for that part, two screws for that part, and then you screw it onto the little mounting plate. So one part will go on the door, one part will go on the frame, and it comes apart I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it. Uh, it does come apart. There we go. The ball separates from the socket. So I'm sure you can imagine how this works. This will probably go over here, somewhere around here, where I've got some wood inside for the screws to bite into. And the other part will go on the door. And then when they come together, they not only catch and hold magnetically, but check this out. This is hydraulically cushioned. This little dude was about $16 on Amazon. And I am really impressed with it. It's got a brushed nickel finish. It said stainless steel. So I'm gonna get this set up, figure out where to mount it, mark it out, and show you how I seal the holes and install it. So let's go. One good thing about scratch building the camper is that I know where the wood is inside of the wall that will catch the screws. I know where the frame is. I can't get to the frame, but I know there's wood above and below this tail light. I don't know what's in this door, but if worse comes to worse and there's no structure in it, I can drill through and bolt all the way through with some thin bolts. There's only two. It's not gonna look real bad. But I think this is the spot where I wanna put it because that little piece sticking out isn't going to catch anything as long as you clear the tail light. So I think that's going to work out really well right there. So I'll get that marked out and uh, we'll go on from there. Okay, this is a magnetic door stop by Lazavo. In case you didn't get the brand name. These are the instructions. They're pretty simple to follow. I wish they had some pictures though. But they refer to part A and part B. Part A would be the longer piece with the magnetic ball. And this has a screw in plate. So they tell you to take this screw out, take the plate off, put it in the middle of the circle that we marked on the door. I marked a circle on the wall and a circle on the door by holding this up there. I used a ballpoint pen because I know that'll wipe off with water. And it marks very easily on the aluminum and on the painted surface. Door stop. Now they refer to, and these are the instructions, no pictures. They refer to this as part A and part B. The long piece, you have to take the screw out and then take the plate off, screw that to the wall with the screw sticking through and then screw the whole mess onto it. I'm gonna use sealant to attach that to the wall, well, as well as screws, but I'm gonna use sealant and the screw holes so it doesn't leak into the wall. And then this piece, I'm gonna leave it magnetically stuck. You use a screwdriver in the hole and you hold this part and you unscrew it. So this is threaded in. I'm not gonna do that just yet because it might spring apart, I don't know. Anyway, 
we'll be screwing that to the door and then putting this piece on and it too has a, a spring-loaded base so pretty cool very cool so I've got that all marked out on the door and I've got my screws even though it comes with screws it comes with a concrete anchor that you can use through the middle of the part a base it comes with some plastic anchors and some some screws but I've got some some favorite tech screws that I like to use and I got my cordless drill I'm all ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in place and uh, show you how it works all right I'm using some Loctite power grab because I happen to have a handy I also use quad sealant for this kind of thing I went ahead and put some on the plate and on the screw and on the screw holes and I've got my area marked out I've got it marked out with the uh, ink pen and I'm just going to line that up center it up stick that on there and it'll hold by itself and I'll have a chance to put the screws in I've got to take my time All right, what I did here is I used the same method. I put the sealant construction adhesive on the back of the plate, stuck it in place, and then put the self-topping screws in there. Now, it felt like it really just went into plastic. It had some grip. I don't know what's behind there besides maybe foam, but the construction adhesive should help between the screws and that. Maybe it'll stay. If not, I'll take it apart and I'll put bolts all the way through the door maybe some nice acorn nuts or something that'll look good and over here I've got this base mounted I I know I've got wood near the tail light so I turned it with the two two screws up near the tail light so I would be sure to catch some wood and they did and the bottom one I think just caught aluminum but between that and the adhesive again I think it's gonna be just fine I go ahead and wipe my line off or I can just not worry about it and this will screw onto that I say stud screw that's sticking out. I'm just going to lightly snug it in case we have to take it back off. Now this part, I was right, there is a spring you got to deal with. And there it goes again. There is a spring and a that button. You're going to have to deal with that. That's going to go in there and it's gonna line up here and I'm gonna screw anyway I'm gonna pick that up I'm gonna screw that back in I'll be right back and I'm back that little booger was hard to find but we found it and we are moving on we got this piece screwed in place and we got the other piece in place as we saw earlier and voila nice cushion to it Got that mounted under the tail light, so that'll keep a lot of water off of it. Not that it matters. The screws are sealed. And one thing I noticed is it's got this little O-ring here. I don't know if that belongs up in here or what, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Thin little O-ring. I'll get someone with good eyesight to check it out. But anyway, I'm very happy with this. It's about $16, and I'd say very worth it. Because when you let this door go... If the wind gets it, that's so much better than that old rubber socket and hook that would catch your clothing. Because even if this was sticking out of the side of your RV, it'd be less likely to catch your clothing. And if it did catch it, it'd be less likely to rip compared to that, the one that was on the Dodge over there. The little spiky thing that goes into the rubber. So I'm very, very well pleased with this. Nice looking little setup. A Zavo magnetic doorstop. I got that from Amazon. Lazavo. There that is. Cool new uh, door catch for your RV. If I have any problems with it, if it starts rusting or getting nasty, I will uh, I will be sure to post that up. Do a follow up and say uh, I was wrong. Don't use these. But uh, there it is, that camper. Till next time. <laughs> I just had one parting thought. Since this is the perfect level, like shoulder height, doesn't that look like a doorbell? <laughs>
<laughs> I could just picture somebody walking up going, hello, ding dong, hello, is anybody home? Because it does, it pushes in like a doorbell. That's funny. Bye.